that hard-hitting, award-winning, conservative voice of television, Wally George! because next month, we start our seventh year on television. <laughs> We're also here to celebrate the demise of my impersonator, Downey. <laughs> you know, I can't believe that moronic wart face, you know, Hey, hey, guess what? He was interviewed here in Los Angeles uh, the other day, and somebody asked him about me, and they said, well, Wally George was doing your show way before you did yours. And you know what he said? He said, well, maybe he, did, he was doing it before I did, but he didn't get famous until I had my show on the air. Oh. Hey, Downey. Talk about sour grapes, huh? Yeah. Hey, but hey, but good news, Morton. I got some good news for you. I have a place reserved down in L.A. on the unemployment line. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. 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 Uh, all right. Now, let, let me tell you, uh, uh, the, the nitwits we have on the show tonight, we have liberal idiot Jeff Coulter on the show tonight. <laughs> we're here, we're here to, hold it, we're here to debate the Orange County Board of Supervisors' wise decision, I say, to, they said it, it should be legal for employers or landlords to discriminate against hiring or renting to AIDS victims, and I say that's right. And this, and this guy Tolster says, no way, employers should have to hire AIDS victims and landlords should have to rent to AIDS victims. I say, no way, I want, I, I want to protect, protect the lives of innocent Americans. I mean, this is a deadly disease. It's like the bubonic plague out here is what it is. Okay. Now, also on the program tonight, we have uh, atheist, liberal, loudmouth Donna Kaufman. She is, she is here... She is pro obscenity. Oh. She says, she says, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she says that anybody should be able to come on any radio or television show and say any uh, horrifying word they want to say. No way. Okay, okay. We'll also be taking some, uh, uh, some questions from our great audience here and, and, and the mail there. But first, I want to introduce our great crew in the booth tonight, directing us. Very talented young man. Let's hear it for the one, the only, John Faulkner, everybody. John. Very good, John. Now, I, I want you to give this young lady 
a, a very nice welcome because this is my wife and my and my producer and hold on this is her last appearance here before the birth of our baby yeah. janice george there she is janice there's janice <laughs> Okay. Our floor director, our floor director, the one, the only, Kurt Franz, right there. <laughs> now here, here on my, uh, 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 to my right, uh, oh, I don't, I don't, anybody could be to the right of me. <laughs> uh, my chief of security, Dynamic Protection Services, and my co-host, and my good friend, Jeffrey Bill Bancroft, right there. Thank you. Great, great audience tonight. Great audience. You know, I, I've said we've had good audiences before, but this is probably the best audience we've had in a long time. Okay. It, seems as though, it seems as though we'd be on safe ground to say conservatism is alive and well in Orange County. Conservatism is alive and well across America. Okay. Okay, now let's hold let's okay, let's hold hold down the audience, please. Hold down the audience. And, and everybody across America, pay attention because it's time for my commentary of the night, and then we'll get on with our questions from the audience and so forth. Listen, this is a very important commentary, I believe. You know, I talked about this subject on my daily television show here in Southern California, and I'm going to talk it talk about it again tonight because I think it's very important. I'm gonna keep on talking about this until something is done about this national tragedy. Now, I'm sure you've heard that the United States Supreme Court has ruled that it is okay, it is now legal, to burn the American flag. Oh! Now, the Supreme Court ruled last week that Burning the American flag is protected by the First Amendment. Can you believe this? No! Now, I thought, I thought we finally had a decent conservative Supreme Court, but now, with this horrifying decision, I'm in a state of shock and indignation. How dare the United States Supreme Court say it is legal, it is okay to burn the American flag I say, burning the American flag is treason. And if I had my way, anyone caught burning the American flag would be shot on sight. But, but the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court says it is freedom of speech, and I say that's ludicrous. We must... We must fight this decision. We must bombard the United States Supreme Court with phone calls and letters and telegrams demanding that they reverse themselves. And let's write a letter, let's write several letters to Senator Pete Wilson, he's our senator here in California, and tell him if the court does not reverse itself, then he should introduce legislation to overthrow the Supreme Court's ruling. I will not rest until we do succeed in reversing this treasonous ruling by the United States Supreme Court. I'll be right back. Some things just aren't for rent. For less than a dollar a day, you can rent the Pactel Model 7000 cellular car phone and have Pactel Cellular, Southern California's premier cellular phone system, at your fingertips. This special offer expires July 30th. Pactel, the one source for cellular, is a Pacific Telesis company. Listen to an American original. Sing your song, sweet music, man. Listen to Kenny Rogers. Here's a great new Lifetime Music Collection of Sweet Music Man, the biggest hits of America's favorite entertainer, Kenny Rogers. 
36 very special songs. And this collection is not sold in stores. Sweet Music Man is truly the best of Kenny Rogers. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. For rush delivery, use your credit card and call 1-800-367-7400 or send $19.95 for LPs or cassettes, $24.95 for CDs, plus $4 shipping to Kenny Rogers, P.O. Box 916203, Longwood, Florida. Trivia Bob, how much do you know about your favorite films and film stars? Every Friday during the KDOC Afternoon Movie from 2 to 4 p.m., we play Movie Trivia. Each week, we ask a question about the movies, and if you're the first person to call in with the correct answer, you'll win a weekend for two at Glen Ivy Hot Springs in Corona, including overnight accommodations at Corona's Best Western Kings Inn. Put those thinking caps on and watch for details on how to play. Every week on KDOC 56. Welcome back. Wally George here with a Hot Seat Show, the only show worth watching on Saturday night. Yeah! Here we are. Okay. Okay. Now, we'll get on with our program in a moment, but uh, first, uh, Bill, how are you, you doing tonight? I'm great. I'm just absolutely Good. fantastic tonight. But aren't you going to be doing a special appearance on Thursday night, the 29th? Funny you should mention that, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, well, that almost sounded like we rehearsed that, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, this Thursday night, June 29th, I'm going to be appearing at Bogart's in Long Beach. And I'm, uh, we're going to be doing a hot seat spectacular down there. You people who want to come down, I'll be down there doing my thing. And also, I'm going to be debating Thrasher from KNAC. So we'll be down there for a hot seat spectacular Thursday night. That's this coming Thursday night, June 29th at Bogarts in Long Beach. That's going to be great. We're That'll be fun. To You're going to be down there, too, aren't you? You betcha. Okay, you sure great. Well. You, you, you can, hey, Bill will be in introducing me. How about that? Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you do the warm-up. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill can do the warm-up. <laughs> hey, wear, wear a bulletproof vest, okay? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Right. And now, if you're ready, it's time for the mailbag! <laughs> okay, okay. Now, here's one I, I, I really, uh, boy. He says, hi, Wally, I'm Lance. Oh. Lance. He says, he says, Wally, I'm sick and tired of you putting down Madonna. Oh. He says, he says, you're always criticizing her. Madonna is a goddess. Oh. He says, shame on you, Wally. Oh. Hey, Lance, I have news for you. Madonna is a bimbo. And hold on. And I think Lance is also a bimbo. He probably wears the same kind of clothes Madonna does. Hey, what do you bet that he prances around in pantyhose, huh? I can just see him now. <laughs> okay. Now, now here's one from a... Hold it, hold it. Here's one from a female named Heather. And, and she says, Dear Wally, I can't understand how anybody could like your stupid show. Oh. She said, You're always... You're always picking on everybody. You're always picking on people on your show. Why don't you leave your guests alone? Oh. <laughs> Heather, don't you dare tell me how to run my show, you stupid bimbo. You're out of here. <laughs> and don't ever try to come down here because we're going to ban you from our studio. Yeah! Now finally, now finally we have a nice letter, Bill. All right, a good one. <laughs> Here's a good one from a guy named Ted. I hope you're watching, Ted. He writes me a great letter. He says, you're doing a hell of a job, Wally. Oops, I'm sorry. Pat Boone might be watching. You're doing... Wait, wait, wait. 
You're doing a heck of a job, Wally. Uh, he says, Hot Seat is a magnificent show. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right, let's go to the studio audience. Come on, let's go to the audience. Okay. How you doing, Wally? Go ahead, yes. Yeah, well, I'd like to know how you... Can I have your name, please? Well, my name's Glenn from Fullerton. Yeah, Glenn. And I'd like to know how you feel about Perestroika, and don't you feel it's a ploy for the Russians to steal it? Absolutely. I don't trust that little beady-eyed Gorbachev for one minute. Oh, I say this, you know, all the press is saying, oh, Gorby wants peace, he's a wonderful guy. Hey, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He hasn't, he hasn't changed. And I say, as Dan Quayle said a, a few months ago, the Soviet Union continues, the godless Soviet Union continues to be the center of evil in the entire world. Okay, yeah. I don't trust him. Not a bit. Hold he may have a different approach, but he same goals. World conquest. Yes, go ahead. Alan from Irvine. Yes, Alan. I wanna know I wanna know what you think about Morton Downey's show getting canned after only about yeah. two years. Yeah, you know. No, no. One year. What? Well, you know what? One of the hold, hold on. One of the reasons that I that I'm delighted is because I've known Morton for about twenty five years. I have. And he was allegedly my friend for many years. He came down here about two years ago, out of work. He's been out of work about about uh, most of his life. And, and, he, and he came down here. He, he came down here, and I and I put him on the show. And he came down, and he watched me for several months. And lo and behold, he goes back to New York with my format and sold it to WWOR in New York copied my show and i predicted to the press i said hey people don't buy copycats they go with the original i was right morton's gone and he should be gone go ahead yes okay go ahead axel montoya from glendale yes, axel, how uh, are you? i want to ask you uh what do you think about uh, the Chinese government executing pro-democracy protesters? Well, I think it is the most horrifying thing we have seen since Nazi Germany. And I just wish President Bush would get a little stronger. If I had my way right now today, I would cut off all ties to communist red China. I'll be right back. Here we go. Right. I hope you like the dance. I'd love to dance. You like to dance? That's why God gave me feet. He's not yeah. a kid anymore. I'm starting to fight in the tournament. Right. Why? Because I'm not you. That's why. Because I don't always have the right answer. No, he must choose between following his pride. I think you can rely on that train. And listening to his heart. Mr. Moore, he loves you. He has faith in you. He told me that. The Karate Kid Part 3. Rated PG. Opens Friday at theaters everywhere. I want to invite you to join me every Monday night on the radio on KLAC 57 on the AM dial, that great country music station. Every Monday night, I talk to you on the air for three hours. We take your telephone calls, and we have ludicrous guests as well. So join me every Monday night from 7 until 10 p.m. on KLAC 57 on the AM dial, the Wally George Great American Radio Show. Call me on the phone for three hours. I'll see you then. Thank you. Some things just aren't for rent. But for less than a dollar a day, you can rent the Pactel Model 7000 cellular car phone and have Pactel Cellular, Southern California's premier cellular phone system, at your fingertips. This special offer expires July 30th. Pactel, the one source for cellular, is a Pacific Telesis company. Look out when the gorgeous ladies of wrestling get together. Ning Hugrip, the Vixen struggles. Sally sets. And takes the rover into the farmer's bowl. Pounding the musical menace. 
That's life. On low tonight at midnight. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And welcome back to Hot Seat. Uh, for all of you people who are watching us here in Southern California, be sure to uh, watch every day, Monday through Friday, 4 to 4.30 here on KDOC TV, Channel 56. We do uh, the Hot Seat Hotline highlights, and I, I do a commentary every, every day, and then we show some of the most controversial, explosive, exciting moments from the past six years of Hot Seat. Every day, 4 to 4.30, right here on KDOC-TV. Okay. Now, uh, Bill Bancroft, it's time for our, our first victim, and he's back again for another beating, so I'm ready for him. Okay, okay I know you are. Yeah, you're real good at beating stuff. Oh, you that. You need that. Jeff, hold off. You, you got a bad cause. Don't start laying it out here yet. Yeah, right. The, quiet. the liberal, no. the liberal lunatic. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Will you shut up? Oh no! Hey, hey, get about. Hey, hold on. Too tight. You have the feeling he's from West Hollywood? Yeah. Okay, okay, go ahead. Anyway, liberal lunatic that he is, he, he, he wants to support, he wants to debate with you this ludicrous position that employers and people who are landlords should have to rent to gays, should have to also employ gays. The plague is upon us, and he wants us to bring these people into our workplace and into our home. This is Jeff Culture. Wally, I want to know where you dug up these... Uh, hold it. Hold it, audience. Oh, down the audience, please. Yes. I want to know where you dug up these psychotic morons out here. Look at all these Shut up. Hold, hold down. Now, let's get down to business here. The Orange County Board of Supervisors has made it official here in Orange County, employers will not be forced uh, to hire uh, these horrifying AIDS victims who are carrying this plague, and, uh, and landlords will not be forced to rent to victims of AIDS, and I say, this is a landmark decision. I say it's baloney is it's, what I say. Oh, oh. And the reason... Wait, hold on a second. The reason... Oh, I have, I have a legitimate reason for that being baloney. First of all, people who have AIDS... For example, if you have AIDS and you know that you're not going to get a job on a TV station or radio station, you're not going to come out and admit you have AIDS. So that way, you're going to go to work and say, give AIDS the bill if you have it, which you probably already have done. Look at this oh. guy. Right before the interview even starts. You, hey, wait a second. You, you, you're such a scumbag. you got to have him stand up in front of you. You're such a wimp. Hey, hey, hold on, pal. Yeah, no, hey, hold, hold on. on. Relax. Hey, hold on. Have him stand anytime up in front you, of you want. Wimp. Anytime you want. You name the day. I'll meet you in the alley anytime. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, right, pal. You're such a chicken. Let's get back to this topic here. And my audience, and my audience can all witness me. Yeah, yeah. Well, what happens is the fact that these people who have AIDS, the, pe the people who 
the Hold people on. who have AIDS, Wally, are not going to come out yes, of the closet, are. and they're not going to admit yes. it because they're not going to get jobs. That's the whole reason this legislation is wrong. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You're me. Shut let your me. mouth, pal. Oh. Hold on. Anybody who has AIDS, hold on. Anybody who has AIDS certainly is going to have a medical record. They're not going to not go to a doctor if they have AIDS. So the way they, they, they can handle this is before they hire anybody, they check their medical records. Oh, now you're going to talk about AIDS yeah. testing, which is another No, check their right. medical records, and the doctor, uh, his doctor, will tell the employer Those medical he has records AIDS. confidential, Wally. You don't have employers going and searching in your background to see if you have AIDS. No, you? I'm telling you, an employer, an employer, ha hold it, an employer or a landlord has the right to find out if someone he's going to hire or rent to has a disease that can be communicated. And I'm telling you this, I say, why should an employer be forced to hire an AIDS victim when, number one, he can probably lose some of his key employees because they're not going to want to work alongside of an AIDS victim, and number two, that AIDS victim could spread this deadly disease to fellow employees. That's where you're on. That's so. That's, so. That's where your ignorance comes so in, Wally. So the employee has the right to say no to an AIDS victim. That's where, that's, that's where your ignorance comes in, Wally, because there's a, a common misconception about the AIDS disease. And, and, and the fact is, you keep bringing it up is that you think that people can catch AIDS by casual contact. Well, that's not they true. Can't. They can't. They can't. No, and I'll tell, you, I'll tell you how. I just I read a study by the Center, of, the Center of Disease Control Center of Disease Control in Atlanta saying that, that casual contact has not been verifiably proven that you can catch it from casual contact. Uh, uh, hold on. And that's hold, where you're wrong. I, here, here's where you're wrong. Before doing this program, I talked to not three, not four, but five medical doctors. Why don't you name their names for me? I, I'll give you a whole list. How about office. now? You don't got any for me now. I, you don't have any notes, pal. Me the, I want to hear them now. I, I haven't got them here now. Why not? What, did you forget? I, I will. I will. Hold on. What, did you forget who they were? I will give you the list in my office when this oh, program Oh, yeah. Up. You can't with do it in front of a national TV audience, can you? He doesn't have it, people. He doesn't have it. He don't have it. Hold on. Hold on. I will give you, I'll pay you one million dollars if I don't give you that list. How's that? Oh, yeah, okay. I'll give you the list. Put your money where your mouth is. I'll keep quiet. I have. Raise your voice to me. I think this guy has AIDS. I better move over. All right. Now yeah, you're talking. I better move over. I have See what five, kind of help you I'm hire now. here? I don't care. I have five. You better care. You're going to be out of here. Oh, yeah? Wait. Yeah. You're going to me out of here. I have five medical doctors who have stated categorically that yeah, there is no way that anybody can state that you cannot catch the AIDS virus by casual contact one doctor I'll name right now, Dr. Keith Kenyon, who I've known for 25 years, a medical doctor right here in the state of California, in Southern California. There's one doctor for you. He told me, and I quote him, he said, there's no way you can say that you cannot catch AIDS by casual contact. He said, this medical doctor who studied AIDS, he told, Dr. Kenyon told me, he said, the AIDS virus is carried by the body fluids. And the body fluids include urine, include saliva, include blood, and so nobody can say you can't catch the AIDS virus by even a sneeze. So I say we're right to discriminate against AIDS victims. Yeah. Hi, Wally George. If you're thinking about buying a new car, only one place to go, Galpin Ford in Sepulveda. Come on down there. They are number one, and there's a reason. I say they're the best. I've been driving Galpin Ford for years. I have a brand new Ford T-Bird right now. It's terrific. Come on down and see the 89 Fords at Galpin Ford. Tell Bert Bachman Wally George sent you. 
15505 Roscoe Boulevard in the sunny city of Sepulveda. Galpin Ford, I thank you very much. Hurry on down. It's the HBO Video Comedy Club, now on video cassette from Time Life. Get your first cassette for only $14.99, featuring six of today's greatest comedians. Billy Crystal, Robert Klein, Richard Lewis, Martin Mull, Paul Rodriguez, and Robin Williams. The Los Angeles Times hails it as a great party. I'd like to thank the technical crew for the correct height estimation on the microphone. I just want to meet a woman for something special. My sister is dating an Iranian like there's a shortage of Mexicans in Los Angeles. I wrote a thing about Yul Bernard doing the Babe Ruth story. He would have been a great Babe Ruth. Say, Babe, can I hit a homer today? Yes, I am. Word is here on this very stage that many a confused and struggling young person has stepped right into show business. You know, I feel like doing a talent show with a mental institution right here. Each month, you'll receive another video cassette bringing you a full hour of hilarious, uncensored comedy for only $19.99. But start your collection with an all-star toast to the improv for only $14.99. Here's how to order. To order your Comedy Club video cassette, call 1-800-322-3400. That's 1-800-322-3400. Or send just $14.99 plus $3.23 shipping and handling to Comedy Club Video, P.O. Box TV 56, Anaheim, California, 92803. We're back, Wally George here with the Hot Seat Show, and my guest is Jeff Polster. We're talking about the discrimination uh, of AIDS victims, and the Orange County Board of Supervisors has said yes, Landlords and employees may discriminate, may not be forced to rent uh, to uh, AIDS victims, and employers may not be forced to uh, hire AIDS victims. You know, Jeff, in the, uh, in the paper a few days ago, on the front page of the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, the headline was, AIDS cases in Los Angeles County reach all-time high. And why is that, you think, Jeff? I'll tell you why because they're still running amongst us and they're still infecting us and I say they should be isolated from society. It's getting higher and higher and higher. Let me answer that. Let me turn the question around to you and say this. How would you like it if, say, your daughter or you had AIDS and you were going up for a job that you felt you deserved based on your qualifications, your performance, and you were turned down just because of something you couldn't control. How would you like to catch AIDS in the not control? I'll tell you, pal. I would have the. Don't deep... call me a pal. I ain't your pal. Wow. Show me some respect. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you what. I, okay, I'll tell you what I what I should uh, call you. Schmuck, right? No. Listen here, dweeb. Dweeb. Oh, dweeb. Are you wally lingo? I'll answer you. If I. If I had AIDS, would you quarantine yourself? Any decent people, any decent person who has AIDS would not want to spread it to his fellow citizens. He would say, hey, I want to get myself quarantined. I want to get cured, but right, I don't want to right. spread it. I want to You bring up, wait, you bring up a good point. You bring up, you bring up an excellent point for the first time in your life. You want to get help. You want to get help. You but don't I want don't to want stay. to spread it around. Right, but you don't want to stay in a closet. How would you like people to quarantine you and say, Wally George, you have to stay in this closet the rest of your life? That's what you're calling for, is a quarantine hey, of these hey. AIDS people. Hey, 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 hold, hey, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, no, you hey, can't. No, no, I'm not letting you talk. Hey, you don't start closet hey, stuff, he's pal. he's been in the closet for years, hasn't he? Oh. You, can't, you can't answer an intellectual statement, Wally. Oh, so yes, how, how would you like if you were quarantined? I'll ask you. When you have any communicable disease, if you have leprosy, uh, you cannot uh, go into society. You, you, you're isolated. Lepers are isolated. If you, have, if you have tuberculosis, you are isolated until you are cured of tuberculosis. And there is no cure for AIDS, so how would you like to isolate those people for the rest of their lives? They, that's yeah. what you're calling for. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's prison. No, that's, that's prison. Right. That's hey, prison. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They must be isolated until we either find a cure or we find a serum oh, sure. that will make us immune about, from about, getting it. How about that? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. something else up. How about that eight-year-old kid that's the twins in Pennsylvania 
that were uh, thought to have AIDS, that were kicked out of school, said they couldn't go to school, and yet they find out later they don't have AIDS. What about those people, Wally? Well, you don't give a damn about those people. Well, you oh. shut your mouth. You don't give a damn about those people. I'm saying, when all you care about is your big fat cat, fat cat pigs here in Orange County, all the sticky Republicans. What I care pages. about, what I you don't care about, bunk. Pal. I'm talking. Shut up. What I'm saying, I care. I care about. I have compassion for anybody who is dying of AIDS. Well, you're not but I, but I care a hell of a lot more for all the rest of us that they're going to infect. Yeah! And I'll tell you, there, there, you know, it's funny that, that there were two law Orange County lawyers that said they get an average of about 10 cases per week, complaints from AIDS patients, that's 520 complaints a year of people who can't get jobs because they have AIDS. So these people, wait, 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 so what are those people supposed to do? I'll tell you what. I tell you, they should not have jobs. I swear it's going to sink into your stupid head that when you have a contagious, deadly disease, you should not be mingling in society, spreading your disease around. And, and what is it? And what is it going to sink? And what is it going to sink into your stupid head that people who have AIDS aren't going to admit it? And those medical tests you're talking they about, will. they're not going to be able to They will have to admit it. They will have to admit it. How? How? Because they they're going to have to submit their medical records. Oh, well, how is it going to be in the medical records if they haven't been tested for it yet? Well, I'll explain tell you, that, Mr. Anybody, wait, anybody who has AIDS is certainly not going to stay away from a doctor. What if they haven't been tested for it yet? Then, how, then, then what do you do? I am telling you. Well, I'm talking about. Well, I'm. I, well, I'm, I'm, right, I'm answering it right now. Go Shut ahead. up and I'll answer you. I'm talking about. We are talking about AIDS victims who are known to You're have the disease. My question. What happens to the people who have not been tested for AIDS and it's not on their medical record? Well, wait, and well, they well, don't let's admit let's it. Assume and they don't, don't admit it. Right, Bill, go ahead. Go ahead assume Bill. that a few of those people slip through. Let's catch the ones we can. Yeah. How? How? How do you do that? All right. Okay. Wait. And Bill, and say a few of those people slip through and they don't find it. And, and what you're talking about is right, people catching AIDS based on casual contact. You're not going to be able to catch every person who has AIDS so the epidemic is going to spread. I want these people you to come out try. and get treatment for it. You, you I don't start. want them in the closet. I don't, want them, I don't want them working beside people who they're going to infect. I don't want them living beside people. Right. I want them That's hospitalized right. right now. And I think another reason I am outraged by this because of you, you're just doing this because you're anti-gay, because you were gay as a child, probably. I certainly am. I said, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I heard stories Wait, about you and David you, Kennedy. What do you want to bet that he's wearing pink a lace panties? Oh, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I don't, don't yeah, injure yourself on. thinking about yeah. that one, Wally. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, hold that up. Can't Will you answer that question that seriously? Will you answer that in the audience, please? Would you, would you yeah. yeah. Hey, see that? Hey, that's hey, hey, hey that's one of your answer the question. All one of your boyfriends in West Hollywood, right there. Hey, Wally, that's that's your studio audience. He brought that lipstick for you, pal. No, for you. Yeah, yeah he they knew, knew you, you were be coming. On the show tonight, Wally. Hey, hold on. You say I'm anti-gay? Yes. And I'll tell you what. To every hold it. To every homosexual male who's watching me tonight, no matter where you may be. I want you to know that you are primarily responsible for, for the spreading of AIDS for. in America. I want to say, you know, you know what? Not only, not only do I say, not only do I say that I want the landlords to have the right to say no and not to have to rent uh, to to homosexual uh, AIDS victims. Not only would I say that employers should be able to say no and not hire AIDS victims, but I would, if I had my way, I would say to the homosexual community, I want to outlaw homosexuality oh, in the United sure. States. Right out the window, Wally. Let's because just throw their rights right out the window. No matter what you, you want to change the Constitution, every time you come up with, with a little, a little oh, stupid thing in your head that you think is right, you want to just throw the whole Constitution right it's out the window. Not a little bit, Jeff. The Constitution. Hey, you be quiet. I'm talking to him. Let him talk. Tell him. Listen to him. What's going on? Is the is voice of intelligence coming through loud and clear? To the you? voice of baloney is the what's coming through. The problem is that the Constitution.
Constitution and the laws of this country are, are based upon what's good for the majority of people, yeah. not individual people who have a disease that can spread it. Why don't we? Why don't we try to find a cure for that disease instead of well, throwing sure. people no, away? But in the meantime, no, sure. Hey, hold on. Oh, yes, he's right there. Let's find a cure for AIDS. And let's find a serum to make us all immune from catching AIDS. But in the meantime, let's isolate the AIDS. No way. No way. This is a human rights issue. And what is way? No, it's not why the only way. Want, but, but why do you want these, these people roaming around in society uh, spreading th this deadly disease? For one reason, they're human beings. They have rights, just like you do, pal besides what other people might think, and I want these people to get help. I don't want them in closets. I don't want them in, in hospices. I want them to be able to come out and, and, and get cured. That's what oh, I want. Hold on. I'll tell you what. Hold on. I do want them in hospitals. I do want them in hospitals, and I want you out of oh, here. Oh, you're a moron. Yay! accept the best, and I've chosen Dynamic Protection Services for all of my security needs. Bill Bancroft, the owner of Dynamic, hires only the best as well, and he pays top wages. If you are the best of the best, and you want to be paid and treated as a real professional, jobs are now available. Call for an interview, Dynamic Protection Services, area code 714-633-1952. Call right now, jobs are available. Remember me? I used to be the All-American favorite. After a dance, you got me. On the road, you stopped for me. Then suddenly, he was Mr. Popularity with that deliciously different charbroiled taste, that delicate marinade of real fruit juice, herbs, and spices. And gosh, all those incredible side orders, just look at them. El Pollo Loco. Gee, I better go warn the fries and shakes. El Pollo Loco, the fast food habit worth having. Finding something at a home improvement warehouse can be a real adventure. I think I found the wood screws, honey. But at National Lumber, it's easy to find 23,000 items with down-to-earth prices. Pick up Plum Shop's anti-siphon toilet tank repair kit with everything you need, 588. And Zinolite spray made all-purpose spray paint in assorted colors, 88 cents, 11 ounces. So get a lift over to... Whittier Dodge, the newest magic store, features a complete lineup of the all-new Dodge pickup, caravans, and van conversions. With up to $2,000 factory rebate and 0.0, .0 financing, we make it easy. Come on, guys. Do you need some help, too? We'll make it easy. The magic word for Dodge, Dodge trucks and vans is Whittier Dodge. We're back, Wally George here with the Hot Seat Show. Before we get to our next victim on the hot seat, I want to remind you that I do love to hear from you. Grab a pencil and write down the address on your screen and write to me. I read every single letter we get and we uh, uh, certainly answer them all. So write to me if you'd like a free autograph, a picture, or perhaps you'd like a, a, a free sample copy of my magazine, Victory Magazine, 32. Oh, shut up. Okay, okay. Here's the, ad Here's the address, and, and by the way, some of you out there might have the guts to, to want to come down here and uh, debate me on the hot seat if you're over 18. Write to me with your, what you want to uh, debate me on, and maybe I'll invite you to, to come down and take me on on the hot seat some Saturday night, okay? My address, Wally George, P.O. Box 56 TV, Anaheim, California, 92803, Box 56 TV, Anaheim, 92803. Now, if you want to come down here for a taping of Hot Seat, we tape this thing every Wednesday evening, every single week, 52 weeks a year. We're the only show, Bill, who doesn't go into reruns. We do a show, a brand new show, every single week. Uh, by the way, all this summer, you'll see a new show every week. If you want to come down and, and be a member of the studio audience, call these numbers on, on your screen any day, Monday through Friday, during business hours between 9 a.m. and 5.30 p.m., and uh, we'll uh, reserve tickets for you. But of course, the tickets are free. In the 213 area code, you call 464-611. 464-611. Now get ready, gang. This is the big one. 
In the seven one, in the seven one four area code, you call nine nine nine. Great. I love that. Okay, now hold it down. Okay, Bill. It's time for our next victim, and here's a familiar but sickening face back on the show again. Okay, Bill. It really is. Bye, Dad! Yes, go ahead. Yeah, once again, her mouth overloads everything else here. Do you get the feeling that, that she's a, a female poster? Do you get that idea? Yeah, I think, I think that's probably true, but she is a liberal atheist. Liberal atheist. Our, our audience... It's, it's pretty bright here tonight, and they've got a good sense of morals, and I don't think they're going to be taken in by this line of garbage that she wants to lead you on with. Anyway, she thinks that there should be no censorship of TV or radio, and her name is Donna Coughlin. Oh. Pro-obscenity, is that correct? That's right, that's right, hell yeah. Wait a minute, now wait. No, hold, hold. Everyone has the right to say whatever they want to say on the airwaves, and I think it's the repressed FCC and people like you who are preventing us from speaking our minds. Well, no, hold on. What I'm saying, Donna... What I'm saying, Donna, is, is we do have regulations in this country. We have laws. We have regulations. We have the First Amendment, which says you can say anything you want. You can't say anything you want. Hold on. We have, we, have the federal, hold on. we have the Federal Communications Commission. These are the public airwaves. And there's no way we should allow anybody to come on television or radio and say any four-letter word they want. Oh, yeah. How do you account for cable television? Oh. On cable television, the FCC has, FCC has nothing to say over that. So people what do you mean can, they don't? You have a Rodney Dangerfield, Eddie Murphy, Sam Kinison can say... Oh. <laughs> I mean, first of all, there's a certain catharsis with saying what you consider dirty words. I don't consider them. You know what I consider obscenity, and there's nothing... Hey, hold, hold, hold on, Donna. Hey, hold, hold on, Donna. Is may your brother be executed in Shanghai. That's obscene. Oh, 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 oh. May napalm make the flesh rip off your bones. That's obscene. Hey, hold on, Donna. Hey, do you know what I call a... Hey, hold on. Do you know what I call a... This idiot! Hey, you know, where do you draw the line? Because, I mean, some words are just, now they used to be obscene, now they're not obscene anymore. You know, we're not going to get bleached if we call someone an a**. Oh! We all know what it means. If you say the word wrong, you know it's right. When you watch your language... I'm not saying anything wrong, Wally. You will not use... Profanity on my program, I'll kick your butt out of here. What is profanity? Okay, here's a good example. Now, this is great. Um, Robert Mitchum has a new movie coming out, and it's called The Old. <laughs> now, when they take advertising, right? when they take advertising out on KBO are you going on this show? Fozzie wants to spend all his money for some crazy reason on this show. Will you say, no, I won't, like, I won't take your money. You're not going to advertise that dirty title on my show. Well, it's not a dirty title. Where Only did you hear it. that? There is, I, there's no Freeze such the movie. Huh? There's no Absolutely such movie. There is such a, another thing. Uh, the word, just... if, if I'm British, I can say, oh, I got so pissed last night, and it means I got drunk. Well, in this, in our vernacular, it means something, it means I got mad. But you wouldn't believe me if I... Why are you me? I'm getting pretty pissed myself. <laughs> You know what I mean, don't you? George Carlin talked about George Carlin talked about the seven dirty words. Now, 
I counted up a Don't few. Don't you dare say those yeah, words on I, the show. I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I did Wait. about 14 different words, and I'm not sure where he draws the line, you know. Well, I, mean, I draw the line right now for any, anything that is profane. Don't use this show, or I'll just bleep every other word you say. Hey, yeah. up, up your nose with a weed whacker. Now that's oh. Wait, let me ask People you. Around the world let me make a point here, Donna. Donna, Donna. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me make a point here. Uh, we have censorship all over this country. Not only on the women. Not only on in the, on the airwaves. If you were to walk into a restaurant anywhere in something or anywhere in this country, and you sat down in this restaurant and you started uh, spouting expletives, if you started spouting profanity. They would kick you out of the restaurant, wouldn't they? So why should we? So why should we be able to say profanity on the air? We can't, and we're going to keep our airways clean. I'll be right back. This is the hot, hot sound that's got everyone dancing dirty. Feel the heat, let loose to the beat. The night was made for dancing. Hillbury Go Records brings you the ultimate dance experience. Dance of the night away, 40 dancing dirty hits. Dance experience available on four LPs or three cassettes, just $19.95. Two compact discs, $24.95. To order credit card customers, call 1-800-922-4800. That's 1-800-922-4800. Or save COD charges and send just $19.95 for four albums or three cassettes or $24.95 for two compact discs. Plus $4 shipping and handling to Dance in the Night Away, Box 302, Orchard Park, New York. We're at the Magic Store. 13840 East Whittier Boulevard. And here's the magic man, Jack Rockwell. I'm often asked why we call it the magic store. I guess the only explanation is how fast the cars disappear due to the tremendous deals we offer. With 0.0 .0 financing and rebates up to $2,000, how can you go wrong? Hey, you guys didn't sell my dog too, did you? Welcome back, Wally George here. We'll get back to our guest, Donna the Dimwit. I want to remind you that on this Monday night, every Monday night, join me on the radio on KLAC 570 on the AM dial for the Wally George Great American Radio Show. We're on every Monday night for three hours from 7 until 10. You can call me on the phone for three hours. You have open forum, and then we have some ludicrous guests on as well. So call me. Monday nights from 7 to 10, and listen in on KLAC 570 on the AM dial for the Wally George Great American Radio Show. And, uh, all right, yeah, okay. Now, what I've been saying, Donna, is on the public airwaves, the Federal Communication Commission is there to make sure that uh, listeners or viewers are not offended. Oh, come on, what's offensive? I mean, just say a couple words. You'll probably feel better if you just say, God. Wait, 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 w
that is they're making a big deal about it. Instead, they should just act like it didn't happen. Well, 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 why? Why is it necessary? Why is it necessary to use a horrifying, horrifying. dirty, filthy, yeah. vulgar yeah. word? Yeah. Why? If, if somebody yeah. says the word, <laughs> it doesn't mean. Oh. It's, a, it's talking about a very beautiful act, in fact. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, it depends on how it's used. Well, it depends how you do it, I you guess. You realize that? Right. Okay, well, what you about the word bitch? I mean, I, I, you can bitch about something you're and you're not saying anything. Do you realize, Donna? Do you realize, Donna? The word anatomical term that refers to a certain part of one's anatomy. Do you realize how many bleeps we're going to have to do on this program because of you, you idiot? Yeah! And he got in so much trouble for years over saying seven dirty words, but I'm not sure how he got his count, because I count, you know, there's so many words that you can count that are offensive to certain people like you guys, you know, they don't... Man, like all my audience out there! Know. If somebody uses nasty language, allegedly la nasty language at you, you know you've been sworn at. Here, we hear these words all the time. They lose their impact. We shouldn't give them any significance here. Yes, we should. No. Yes, we should. You see, this is, this is a decent, moral country, and I say we must keep a sense of morality and decency. If you're in Hungary, and, and you don't like somebody, and you go up to them and say, yeah, stop the most filthy. Get her out of here. She's still yelling back there. She is the most filthy, degrading, disgusting person, and she will not have her way because we will make sure that disgusting creatures like her will not prevail. We will keep the airwaves clean, and God bless America. Good night, everybody. George, the original voice of controversy. Stay tuned for action on Hot Seat. It's coming up next. I'll be seeing you in a second. <laughs>